Hello. Celebration and glad noises. Exultation. Today in RimWorld, we venture further down the evolutionary adventure. Closer and closer to becoming cyborgs. Lots to do today, but a lot has already been done. We've survived the desert heat and mitigated all of the temperature here. We've accumulated a stockpile, an arsenal of weapons. We also lost several body parts, all of which we've replaced. Our colonists have withstood many attacks. Jeek has manipulation 112% now because of his bionic arm. Oddly enough, you know, losing limbs isn't so bad in this game, and they can always be replaced. As long as you don't lose it all at once, that's okay. Now, Loosh is still missing a left leg, but we're working on that. Also, can't talk or hear, but there's other positives. Very good manipulation, very good manipulation. He has to express his thoughts with his hands now, though. Some of our colonists still have downgraded prosthetics. We're gonna work on that today, and we're gonna see if we can raise the royalty of Sky, our royal colonist push her way into the 1%. We've also built this set of transport pods because there's a psychic drone nearby and we're going to need to take that out early on if we don't want to go crazy. The first thing we'll do is to install this bionic leg. Lush is one of our more unfortunate slash fortunate colonists, however you would slice it, uh, was shot in the brain that ruined his... Well, he can't talk or hear anyone anymore. I imagine that's not really helping with his social life. When was this? Despite the fact that he's deaf and mute, he's still talking with the other colonists somehow. I think that the fact that he's no longer going to be disfigured will help him out here. So as soon as he gets off of the anesthetic, everyone should like him more. He's enhanced now, you know? He's enhanced. Now, that's- we're not stopping there. We're gonna keep going. Deer is another one of our colonists, has a stab scar on the torso. We can't really replace the whole torso, I'm afraid. The right leg, however, has a minor scratch scar, which is apparently giving Deer 9% less moving, so that leg is coming off. We're gonna try a different leg. We're also making fuel, powering our transport pods, and I'm a particularly big fan of this. Cayman now has a right bionic arm. And this has improved her manipulation. This means that she can craft even faster. So she crafts faster, and that lets her craft more bionic arms faster, which lets us craft even more stuff faster even more. It's exponential, you see. And now that we've had a chance to fuel these things up, we'll be able to go to a new destination. I'm speaking, of course, of the psychic drone nearby. And a raid from the Knuckle Duster Band will be fine. They're pretty poorly armed. One of them is smoking yayo right there. In preparation for the attack? Man, if you really need that that much, some of them are fleeing already. You go there, and the ra Oh god, that was pretty one-sided. And the other attack, they all just hit all the traps. Really? All that for an air conditioner? Oh, this guy's day is about to get messed up. He didn't even- This guy just hit him with the butt of a submachine gun and killed him. A bruised caused Mila to die. Oh, was also hit with a spike trap before. Well, why would you keep going? All right. Well, they're nutty. They're nutty over at the Knuckle Duster gang. Yeah. Oh, God, that bullet beheaded that guy. All right, go after him and... There it is. Well, this one dropped 27 yayo, and they didn't even manage to destroy this wind turbine. All they took was one single wall segment. I've also been preparing three bionic eyes. So we're sending out a caravan with deer. Oh, actually, no, it'll have to be Sky. Sky will have to take these bionic eyes. Yeah, she needs the royalty. Well, that's fine. She's gonna like it. She's gonna like it. You know, while you're out there, just try to sell all of this yayo. We don't need it. And take all of this flake with you as well. That's great, just 231 things of you and flake. This is breaking bad all over again. You got yourself a deal. In the meantime, we create this last bionic leg, and now I think we need another bionic arm or something. Well, it's no matter. You have a small scar on your leg, dear, so it's coming off. You'll like this one. You'll like it. This is great. Now you'll be able to move faster and you won't have all of that pain anymore. That slight pain that you had in your right leg. And this is a rather good quest. Okay, five more honor- Luciferium and Hyperweave. For an infestation of eight hives. That's not so bad. Yes, absolutely. Okay, infestation coming up. More or less the same place it came up before. All right, well, we know what to do here. Just wait for the right moment. Okay, now looks pretty good. And... Go, baby, go. Yes. Yes. Uh, wait. Okay, get back, get back. Good, that fire is spreading. Ooh, that looks like it's going to spread quite a lot. 
Great, they're spreading to mo yet more bugs. Okay, Senra, uh... Oh, no, do not put out that fire. No, you rest, you rest. See how it affects the rest. It looks like they've put out one of the fires, but one of the other nests is on fire now, too. That's two of them. If we could keep spreading it around the colony and get them all to... I think at 150, they try to break out. You know, nobody fights fires right now. It's the last of your worries. Go eat dinner instead. Okay, it looks like that they're trying to break out now because of the fire. They're getting overheated. But they don't really know which way to go. Oh god, why is Dromedary Calf 3 in there? I just noticed that, uh... Alas, Dromedary Calf 3. Get out of there, Dromedary Calf 3! Oh no, Dromedary Calf 3! Well, it looks like they can't really identify which way is out. This one has started to take out the cooler. We'll try to repair that for now. 231 degrees in here and it's boiling. And they still can't identify which wall to get out through. Nearly 300 degrees inside. And it looks like it's going down now. Yep, that's it. Okay, here they come now. Nine. Oh, they didn't come through. Oh well, just more furniture damage. Well, we've burned them up and they're weaker now. They've all got heat stroke. We might as well just open the door and take them down. All right, come through. And we've got the door seriously blocked here. Zulu, what's going on with Zulu? Zulu's been cut bit. Yeah, Zulu is getting messed up there. We gotta take Zulu out of there. And they've- okay, they've broken through now. It's two on one. Two at a time now. Zulu, you get to bed. We'll take care of you later. Mallard. Mallard. 13 Ooh, left ring finger was cut off. We'll have to replace that with a whole arm. Yep, that arm's coming off. All right, you get to bed now or something. And it looks like there's one left. Not such a bad haul, really. I mean, granted that on the one hand, we really didn't need quite this much destruction. This is far better than old infestations used to be for me. I'm just surprised that they haven't ever spawned in the pit of the despair. That's the dirtiest room. Natural supplements for us. What did we lose? I think all that we lost was one ring finger, though. I mean, that's... that's a shame. Mega Spider separated his left ring finger. Well, it's not as important as the right one, so... Now, Zulu overcomes an infection, and Sky arrives at her destination with the goods. We'll give them three bionic eyes for plenty of honor. Sky is now to become a predator. We're going to need a harp and f not two, but four columns. Some mechs have arrived. Ooh, scissors, scissor, scissor people. There goes one. Oh, no, don't... Please don't cut off Cayman's head. Please don't cut off Cayman's head. And, okay, she's fine. They got beaten up by them, but that was close. Really, Scythers are the one thing I don't want to jump out of the sky. And yet, quick thinking. Quick thinking and melee colonists save the day. Time for a meal, yes. Only a bruise and, uh, well, not even any cuts. That's impressive. They literally came through the ceiling right there. That's all that was took. Okay, this is a better formation for these things. Well, you know what we're doing next. Load up the pods. Get inside. Okay, great. All right, we're heading for the psychic drone. Going at the edge, yeah. All right, there they go. They, whoa, that was... F whoa, look at that go. And here they... Oh, that was not the edge. That was the center. Well, alas. Pretty good angle on that, though. It looks like we can get the jump on them before they wake up. All right, everyone take this thing out. Oh, God, why? Jesus. That seemed a bit excessive, didn't it? Well, they're fine. Oh, God, the other mechs are out of there, too. Well, we could just break in the wall. We don't actually have to encounter most of them. Okay, take out the sec- We might not even have to fight these mechs at all. Yeah, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's fine. We just stand here and we take out the, uh, mech. There goes the psychic drone. No fighting required, really. And here it comes. There- Oh, God, why? Another inferno cannon right behind it. Just get out of here. This is a terrible place. Just bring the meals. Bring all the happy meals. Oh. Oh, uh, unfortunately, we do have to take out the mechs before we can just reform the caravan. That's a shame. Didn't know that was actually a thing. Okay, careful here. Careful. Spread out. Don't let it hit too many of us at once. We can't prevent it from killing... So, okay, everybody out of there. And now that wall is blown up. Everybody else get behind the wall again. Is anyone really badly injured? Nah, you're fine. All right, form the shield wall. Zulu, you go be the bait. Here they come. Oh, God. Yep, there goes one. Be the bait again, and there comes another. Take out another wall segment, and then we just shoot inward. No, you s totally don't go in there. That's a terrible idea. There it is. So good. All right, let's try to lure them out again. All right, try another side. Just picking away, picking away. A oh, that is a scyther. All right, run back again. Everybody else gather around and fight the scyther. Yes. Good. Oh, Jesus. Is that it? I'm done tiptoeing around now. Has anyone lost anything? Nothing's lost. Wow. There's an incredible- 
Oh, Lush would just die right there. Hey, you'll be fine, I'm sure. Rush the last three. Somebody save Lush. And here come the last. We'll just take them out with melee. Jesus, smoke leaf joints and just weapons are all over the ground. Get Mallard in a bed. Save him. Somebody save him. Oh, you would go into an insulting... How very Rimworld of you. We made it. We did it. Time to go home. We can now buy marine armor, make a harp, and prepare for the royal ceremony. For now, we are ready for the ceremony. Yep, Sky looks totally ready for this ceremony. Send down the royals. Okay, here they come, here they come. Sky is really slowly making her way over. Ah, uh, this reminds me of my college graduation. During the procession of the graduates, there were just cans of natty light scattered all over the ground. All right, that's great and wonderful. She's a praetor now, just absolute mess of a person, really. Praetor quality, yeah, this is gonna be a big uh, issue from now on. But she's got throne speeches, so that's nice. Now the problem in this colony is that everyone hates Sky, So we're going to see if she can make a speech to, uh, to fix that, because no one likes her. And that would be great, because, uh, it's, it's just not a good life, right? Try making- get up from your bed, try making a speech. I'm sure everyone will like it. She's walking really slowly over there. She's been drinking beer and smoking smoke leaf all day and sleeping in preparation for this speech. All the animals are gathering. Okay. Should probably kick them out of here. Okay, great. Lobster's coming over to listen. Minimal damage will be made if, uh, if this doesn't go well. All right, two people, three people out to listen to the speech. She's talking, still talking. And Wowzer's terrible speech. Okay, this made everything even worse, if that was possible. Well, uh... 20 days from now, after they're done mocking her, um... We're gonna have to get up her speech skills. I thought 10 would be enough. Either that or she'll just have to leave the planet. I mean, ultimately, that's the goal anyway. Here. Don't worry, if your friends don't like you, you can just go to outer space. And everyone else is upset about how bad the speech was. This is a negative 12, expires in 8 days. Though those who weren't in attendance do not have, uh... Oh god, Cayman's sister died and heard that the family... This is horrible. Fortunately, she's still willing to eat normal food. Otherwise, she might, uh, might die. Well, in order to mitigate Sky's badness at everything, we're going to call in, uh, another, another, another drop, a food drop. And now we can also call down Janissary squads. Let's get the food drop. Yeah, put the food right there, right there. Oh, great, that is, wow, am better than Amazon Prime. Great job. All right, a meteor of compacted plasteel. And Pirates of Fortune, yo-ho. Do it for honor or goodwill. Obviously the honor. Knuckle Duster Band, a challenge message. Okay, we're going to fight pirates. Pirates will arrive in four hours. Absolutely. Absolutely yes. All right, here they come. Oh, that's a lot of them. Everyone get back. Get out the sniper rifles. It is a siege. Well, they've left the southwest open, so that's easy for us. Here we go. We just have to take out the mortar before they can build it. Stand by with the minigun. There goes one. Next, we shoot their sniper. Everyone join together. And we shot off his left leg. Not a great sniper shot, but there's one that worked. And one more. We have to get that before they can put it up. Everyone shoot that thing. Good job now, people. And they've shielded themselves as expected. Now the shield wall is down. It's time to take out their sniper. Spread out. Spread out now. And the mortar is down. They're assaulting the colony. Time to get back behind the wall. Take them down and get Sky to safety. There she is. Back into safety. Take him down. And him and all the rest. There they go. Nice. Kingman is excellent. We'll save Kingman. Capture him. All right. God save the queen and all of that. Okay, this makes Sky a baroness. And she's hiding in her room. Well, we'll pull through, I'm sure. Moreover, we're now ready for better surgery, harpsichord research, and the improvement of the floor. I'm pleased to say that Sky, however, has not lost the common touch and is still building her own throne room. Something she does not find undignified or below her position. I'm going for a weird layout here. I think I'd like two different types of fine flooring. We just don't have enough tiles and carpet to go around. Yes, put those potatoes down there. That's a great idea, I think. Well, there's lots to do now if we hope to get Sky this title and off the planet soon. But I think that it's just about there. The throne room is nearing completion. And that 
That will be our way off of the planet. She, why is she in the hospital? She got into a social fight because everyone hates her. But they don't hate her as much as they did a few days ago, and that's the good news. And she'll be ready to make another speech soon and reverse all of that. Until next time, this has been the Extreme Desert Colony. I hope you enjoyed. I think we'll be seeing it to its completion next time, so here's to that. As always, a major thanks to viewers like you, and thanks to my patrons. They put the fine in the fine burgundy carpet, and I'm very grateful. So thank you. I'm Ambiguous Amphibian. Goodbye.